Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I made it uh, not very, not very far from where we left off. <laughs> uh, basically, just save the game, and uh, you know, I got, I want to, I want to get, I want to get this done. I feel like I've been working on Blue Science now for, for many an episode, and I'm hoping it's not going to be a, um, a, a sign of future things to come. Um, this shouldn't be too hard, though, because we've already made circuits. We've already got a way that this works. Um, it's it's just a matter of of doing doing something like that over here. So this this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we got all our factories. I I do have them spaced in a way that I believe works. Um, for 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 them to be able to feed each other, as well as uh, get all the beacons. Uh, now it's just uh, a problem of belts. So we'll do we'll do some belting and uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, what I'd like to be able to do is do all the inputs on this side. Uh, how many how many circuits do we need? We need 0.9, so we're going to have to have three belts running through here. So let's see if that's going to even be a possibility. If we run that there, and we do that right there. It'd bring that up. Bring that down. And uh, do that right there. I think I think we're going to repeat that pattern going down. And we don't even have to do any belt braiding. Right? And that even leaves us a space over there for a power pole. I like it. I like it. Let's uh let's let's do that. Let's take this out. Now if we take that and we paste it, figure out where it goes here. There we go. That should work. Curve that one in. Take that out. And that should work, right? Okay, I think I think that's good. Um, so then we just have this down here, which is going to be our um, output. Then all we have to do is just make sure that it gets on. Um, And I've seen this in a lot of uh, of Cornosian's blueprints. I want to try to take advantage of it just to make sure that I understand it the way I think I do. So basically, we're going to try to push stuff to the inside of the belt with these little setups right here, uh, which will keep the other side as, as open as possible. And uh, I, I, th I think it's going to work. I, I think I think I see I think I see the logic of it. And uh, by the end of the day, we should have a full belt ish a little bit less than a full belt of green circuits coming out all right let's hook these guys up and uh, you are going to be iron be copper and i don't know why i did that i need to go up for the for the copying part not the uh not the make part okay so that'll be the iron line coming in iron line coming in copper line coming in Uh, let's uh, let's let's try that again. Uh, copper line, iron line. All right, not sure, not sure what that was about. Uh, okay, let's get uh, let's get you in. Yeah, I think we do. Did we do two going over? I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's a it's a one to two ratio, so that looks like it. It makes sense to me. Um, you're going to go over it like that, and somehow I have done something horrible. Okay, I guess it looks like I copied some things wrong here. Yeah, you're going to go across like that. 
going to come up like that. Down. And back up. Iron, iron, iron. Output, output, output. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can make it work. Those work if we just do that right there? Yeah, then we just need to worry about getting power to these bottom guys. We'll worry about neat power power lines at a later date. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we're doing here. Almost feels like you're not getting enough copper there. Almost feels like you're not getting enough iron there. The output looks pretty good. Um, okay, so that's backing up. It's not that it's not getting enough copper, it's that it's not processing it fast enough because you're not getting enough iron. Let's put, uh, let's go ahead and double up these guys. Yeah, that almost looks like it's a, it's a backup that's happening. But I think that's um I think that's pretty much what we need though. It's uh let's see, point nine. Does that look point nine ish? Looks very point ninety. Uh it's quick, it, it, it's efficient, and uh I, I believe that works. Okay, so if we cut off all of those That leaves us needing... Okay, so we might be able to... We might be able to do... Um, let's, uh, let's, let's take this out. We might be able to do the uh, mining drills like up, up here. That may, that may actually work out. Let's, uh, let's try to do that. Um, we need we need three blue belts of iron coming in. That's a lot. Well, we have we have one spot where we can do one. Uh, can we do a we can't do a blue belt here, but we should be able to fit one here, right? So yeah, we could sneak a blue belt of iron here. Uh, these three outputs from the belt being really close together is going to be interesting. Yeah, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that. Because we're going to be pulling one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven uh, times off of the uh, off of the bus there. And uh, that feels like it's going to be expensive. So let's uh, let's not do that. And instead, let's copy this setup right here and take it down. Ah, uh, boy, this, this stuff just needs, it just needs so much stuff. All right, um... Let's uh let's just start. Let's just start with one. Uh, mining drills. Okay. Oh, we're going to need uh, we've got 0.9 lines. 1 2 3 4 5 inputs coming in. Uh, let's see. What does one factory take? 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 0.25. 
Uh, what is what does two factories take? Um. Okay, the numbers just just do not work for this. Uh, not not at all. <laughs> uh, we need um. All right, looking, looking, looking at numbers here. We need three point eight one, and um, let's see if I did three point eight one. Two point five. I'm sorry, two point nine eight. So that's basically three lines of of iron we need. Okay, so what if we did 1.54? Hey, that doesn't that doesn't work out either. I'm trying to see if there's a way to get not have three uh, input lines coming in. I, I don't see any way to not do that. Uh, so let's uh, let's just let's just go with with three here. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Be like that. We'll have a line coming in at the top, line coming down at the bottom. Uh, this is a final product, so it won't take productivity modules. Uh, so, iron, copper, sorry, iron, uh, gears, and circuits. So, iron will come from the outside, gears will come from that side, and uh, circuits, you can spin those in the middle. One, two, out like that. It's not the most uh, efficient beacon usage thing that I'm seeing, but uh, all right, uh, we'll, we'll we'll try this. Three point eight seven. Okay, it looks to me like we could possibly get away with putting you just on a full belt and sending you all the way down. That looks like it's going to work for me. But uh, with some of the craziness involved, it might actually, no, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, let's see, gears coming down next. That one is, that one's messed up. That's actually okay. I may want to get a little bit of space in there anyway. Okay, that one makes that one messed up. Do that. Oh, that's horrible beacon usage. Horrible beacon usage. But you know, let's just uh, let's just get something that works, and uh, we'll, a, a premature optimization. We don't want to do that. That is a dirty word. But we'll get something that works, and uh, then we'll uh, worry about optimizing stuff later.
Okay, and there is that. Now, what I was thinking is to do something like this. For output. going to take from there. Uh, you're going to pull from there. I think there's a difference between pulling from the, the belt that goes underground and the one that comes from underground, and I don't remember which one's which, but, you know, that, 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 this, this, this works. Um, and we needed... We needed three lines of iron coming in. Hmm. I think the way to do that is just going to have to be to run it and see. see where the where they end up getting getting eaten up at all right let's do output 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 now let's see put one of these like right here and have that not conflict nope that's going to conflict And however, put one right here. I don't know if that's going to help much. How much? Oh, we're only getting uh, we're getting point three one coming out here, so that shouldn't shouldn't make a, a di difference. Hill of beans. Um. All right. So that's all looking good. Let's just uh, let's just get this guy running. And uh, we'll see we'll see how that looks. Uh, let's see. Do we have a, a void right there? And uh, this is this is gonna have to be fixed too. We gotta get gotta get the full beacons, or or else none of it works. We can just do that right there for now. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Hey, you're just not getting enough iron. That's really all there is to do with that. Still not getting enough iron. Still really not getting enough iron. <laughs> if If we're being honest here. Now let's see, if we cut that there, does that... It's almost looking like gears, isn't it? Gears.
do that all the way down. Okay, you're finally somewhat happy. Uh, now the now the thing is on plate, but at least it's uh, at least it's somewhat taken care of. All right, so we can take take you on down to like maybe right here. Actually, let's cut it as close as we can. Um, find those two like that. Okay, and can we get a third line? Runs down a ways. We can bring it back down here now. Uh, let's see, let's get, get the full amount of inserters on that. And then just does something like that. And there's our three lines of iron coming in. And uh, let's see, how does that, how does that work? Still not working. It's just, man, this guy needs a lot of plate. Just for just for testing stuff out, if we put one right there and one right there, does does four inserters give you enough? Okay, four gives you enough. You can sustain yourself with four coming in. So you should be good. You should be good. Don't kind of pause in a little bit. What's your problem? You're on circuits. That's weird that we have one that is, maybe it's because it's trying to, um, trying to grab things that are moving. Okay, so I think I'm good with those two. Um, how's, how's this one looking? You've probably got the iron situation. see is there anything we can do about that um i don't think this one is moving very quickly what if we did this <laughs> this is uh this is craziness to me. Absolute craziness. All right, but we got one going. One going fairly well. Um You still seem to think that you're running short on plate even with four inserters inserting. Oh, you're having a problem here, aren't you? Is it just bugged out or Okay, so that, I don't know if that was just bugged out or what, but it, it seems to be working now. You seem to be working. You probably could use with um, an extra 
circuit inserter. Okay, you're going at full. And then we just get you. And your problem is not surprising that it's iron. Uh, let's uh, let's do this thing again. Let's uh, combine those two right there. Move you on down and uh, bring you down that. Oh, uh, and yeah, let's put that right there. Just to make sure that all this stuff keeps a flowing. And just continue that on down, just to make sure that, that everything is, is constantly moving. That looks to be the case. Do we have four happy machines? It almost looks like we do. Uh, let's see, we need .31 blue belts coming out. And uh, I don't know, we may have done it there. That looks like it may be .31 belts. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> I was losing losing hope that we were actually going to... What are you, what are you done right about? Uh, are you still complaining about... Iron, yeah, your little thing's like messed up. Um, let's do... Let's do this instead. We'll pull from both sides there just so you don't flip out. Is anybody else flipping out? Everybody else seems to be okay. It's just you that, that flips out every now and then. Good. Good. Looks good. And looks good. I think I'm I think I'm happy. I think we're happy. All right. <laughs> well, that was a lot of that was a lot of stuff. Um we've got a, a little bit uh, of a challenge here still in that um we have to figure out a way. It's just we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 pulls uh from from the iron line right here really close together. Uh so that's going to it's not going to be not significant. Now uh, we're going to have to figure out a way to deal with that. But as far as all the things that we need to build, it looks to me like we've got it. Um, so, yeah, um, in the next episode, we'll finally be able to make blue science. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty jazzed about that. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where we will do that. We'll get we'll get blue situated. And then I want to get all of this uh, copied and put over into the um, into the real world, where the real base is. All right, thank you. See you next time.